Hello everyone, welcome to WCN World News. I'm your host, Andy Klein. Well, Japan passed a secrecy bill that's set to take effect in December 2014. It could incriminate reporters and whistleblowers who reveal information to the public in which the government deems classified. However, what information is classified is unclear. This has many people extremely concerned, particularly journalists who could find themselves in prison simply for doing their job. One of the most outspoken critics of the law is former director and policy planner of the U.S. State Department, Morton Halperin. He recently gave a talk about why he finds this bill so troubling. And I start with the assumption that this is not a technical issue. This is not uh, a minor question. It's, it's something that goes to the heart of a democratic society. Because all governments have a tendency to keep everything secret, even things that are essential to public understanding of key issues, all of us citizens of democratic countries are dependent on the press uh, to ferret out information and to publish it, whether they're bloggers or newspaper reporters or TV journalists. Uh, and therefore, laws which chill uh, both the willingness of government officials to talk to reporters and reporters' willingness to write stories uh, is an extraordinary threat to the public's right to know and to the ability of governments to function in an effective democratic way. The basic principle is that information belongs to the people of a country, not to its government. And the government has an obligation to make it public either on its own or when requested. Uh, unless there is a compelling reason to keep it secret. And national security, of course, can be such a compelling reason, but only if the statute specifies very clearly, as this one does not, what is the information that needs to be protected and provides procedures for challenging uh, the decisions about what needs to be protected. So that when a government is considering enacting legislation in this area, I believe it has an obligation to proceed slowly, uh, to proceed carefully, and to fully consult uh, with the citizens of its country, with its legislature, and with experts from around the world, because we now have an emerging global consensus of what these rules can be. And by consulting around the world, you learn about what's going on uh, in particular countries. Now, several years ago, South Africa began the process of enacting a secrecy law. It was as controversial as this one. Uh, but the difference is the South Africans spent three years in enacting this law. It went through several revisions. It still came out with things that civil society did not like. Civil society has never seen a secrecy law that it likes. But it was substantially improved because the South African government did what the Japanese government did not do. It consulted with its own citizens. It consulted with its opposition political parties. And of course, the South African parliament is even more dominated by the government party than is the diet. But nevertheless, they consulted intensely. Uh, they consulted with international civil society. I was there twice, met with senior officials of the South African government, had a chance to explain to them what the international principles were. We were then, in fact, in the process of drafting what became uh, the Shuane principles. The Japanese government, I understand, is saying that it had to do this uh, because the U.S. government was refusing to provide information to the Japanese government on key issues. I have myself deep personal experience on this issue. I started working in the U.S. government on U.S.-Japanese relations in the 1960s, and I was involved in a number of decisions then and in later years, in the last Bush administration and the Obama administration, about what information could be provided to the Japanese government, particularly on the issue of nuclear weapons and nuclear strategy, about as sensitive an issue as one could imagine. No one ever said we could not provide that information because the Japanese secrecy law is not as good as the secrecy law in other countries. The statute itself has a number of weaknesses that you've heard about. It penalizes 
um, the press in certain circumstances. It claims to protect the press, but it does it with fuzzy language about when the press can be uh, criminal, subject to criminal penalties, and that, I think, will have a chilling effect on what reporters are prepared to do. They don't know what inappropriate uh, conduct means. And it violates the Juan A principles, which were developed by a group of international organizations and NGOs. It's been endorsed by the Council of Europe, among other entities, uh, and which basically says uh, no reporter should be subject to criminal penalties. No person who doesn't have a security clearance should be subject to criminal penalties. Uh, this statute violates that. Uh, and it also provides excessive criminal penalties, far longer than most allies of the United States, for release of classified information by government officials. It also denies government officials what they have by statute or by legal interpretation in most other countries, which is a whistleblower defense that they were revealing corruption or illegal activities, or a public right of knowledge defense, which says that the value of the information to public debate outweighed the harm to national security. Both of those should be in any statute uh, that deals uh, with the release of information. Moreover, there needs to be a much more precise requirement for determining which information can be classified and why and for how long. But I think every democratic government has an obligation to its citizens to look at the best practices that are reflected in the Juane principles and to justify to its public explicitly uh, not to simply dismiss the principles as written by civil society as if civil society is not important in a democratic country, but to discuss the substance of the principles and to justify any deviation. That was former director and policy planner of the U.S. State Department, Morton Halperin, talking about his deep concerns over the Japanese secrecy bill that goes in effect December 2014. We'll of course bring you up to date with the latest on this story for all the news that shapes our lives. Keep it locked in at WCN.